Ah, Roku. You can find their platform in sticks, boxes, even built right into TVs. And if you're new to the Roku world, you might be wondering how to customize things to better suit your preferences and habits. Hi, my name is Philip Palermo from Core Cutters News, and these are five Roku features you might not know about. Number one, make your own screensavers. This one requires Roku's mobile app, and we'll talk about that app more in a second. For now though, Roku's devices come with a few screensaver options built right in, but you can create your own by uploading your favorite images. If you have the app loaded, select the media option and then screensaver. From there, you can upload up to 25 images, pick from a few motion options, and set the speed. On your actual device, you can choose among the available screen settings by heading to settings and selecting screensaver. Number two, private listening. This one's been a staple of Roku's platform for years. Private listening can be extremely handy, especially in a crowded household or late at night when you don't want to disturb anyone. All you need is a pair of headphones with a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. Plug those into the port on the side of your Roku remote and the audio should automatically switch from your speakers to your headphones. You can also use the volume controls on the remote to adjust loudness. What you might not know is this feature also works using the mobile app. Just connect your headphones to your mobile device and watch your shows or movies as loudly as you want, though hopefully not too loudly. Number three, using voice search. Whether it's a TV remote or a video game controller, entering long strings of text can be tedious with a four-way directional pad. If you'd like a faster way to search for content, you can use the voice search option. You'll need a compatible device like the TV voice remote, enhanced voice remote, touch tabletop remote, or yes, the mobile app. But if your remote supports it, you can press and hold the microphone or magnifying glass buttons to speak your commands. Once you're done, let go of the button and you should see search results pop up. This could be handy if you'd rather not use the four-way directional pad to enter rather lengthy search terms. Now, just bear with me for it. Just, uh, uh, oh, never mind. Number four, using the mobile app. Have we mentioned the mobile app yet? While it doesn't necessarily have to replace your physical remote, the mobile app offers some handy features that can make it a solid backup or companion control option. In addition to the private listening options we talked about earlier, you can also use the app as a traditional remote with a screen layout that mimics a real remote. You can also cast photos and videos from your phone to your TV. Also, the mobile app's private listening mode works with wireless headphones like Apple's AirPods. That option can give you a bit more freedom if you're moving around the house while enjoying your content. Number five, organizing your home screen. And finally, we end at the home screen, where most users typically have several streaming services and other channels filling out their grids. It's not uncommon to have more than one screen's worth too, so organizing your home screen to put your most used options up top can make for a more pleasant experience. To reorder the tiles on your home screen, just select the one that you want to move and press the star button on your remote. This will bring up channel options where you can select move channel. From there, just use the four-way directional pad to move the tile up, down, and across as needed. You'll see the other tiles automatically adjust to your movements. This could come in handy if a service you've just added quickly becomes a go-to option and deserves a more prominent placement. Of course, these are just a handful of tips to get more out of your Roku device, but there are certainly many, many more out there. If you're a longtime power user, now's your chance. Share your top tips, tricks, and hidden secrets with your fellow cord cutters down below. And of course, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to support our channel and check out our news website, cordcuttersnews.com, for all the latest on cord cutting and streaming news. For now, I'm Philip Palermo. Take care.